told this is the hottest ticket in town tonight. ESPNU in the building, getting you set for Radford and Hampton. Should be a great matchup here tonight with the Pirates 5-3 and three in the Big South. Highlanders 8-1. and one. Jermaine Barrow, the seventh leading scorer in the country, ready to go, as are we. Radford, Hampton. Not when the shot clock's winding down, he's not. This one goes, though, from Trayvon Barnes. I guess it probably makes it a little bit easier when that team wins the whole thing. Nobody could beat them. Fisher, down low, Barnes are for the Pirates. And that's what makes Barnes dangerous, the ability to make that open three and then score at the rim. Donald Hicks with the answer. Expected points. It, it just helps your overall offensive confidence. Polite looking for help. Fields for three. That one's good. Travis Fields. So he has different scouts, different styles of play that he's never seen before, and it's conference play. So far, they've done a great job getting through it. Five and three overall. They're seven and one here. It means to practice hard and get terminology down. Here's Marrow swatted away by Polite. He is a defensive demon last year. And he is the main man rebounding in the big. He gets nasty the closer he gets to the rim. Marrow inside the arc. Oh. Quick release. He's got the little kick up in his game. If you're going to handle the ball that much and be the main man in the backcourt. Fisher, strong take. Swing it around, Marrow. Got it. Jermaine Marrow. Tubby Smith, the coach now at high point on the road. Up top, the three off the mark by Mitchell. Now it goes in. Defender on the Pirate team. Up top, beautifully executed alley-oop. Jones, he reads it, he sees it, but he just lays it up nice and soft. He doesn't put it too too high for field. Not shooting today, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Let's, let's keep that up the air, please. Mero! what I can. Swish it from the top of the key. Eight. Nice to shoot. Nice ball movement. Tanner from the wing. Numbers for Radford. Fields decides to hit the three. Both starts. Both range starts over half court. And both undersized guards as well. Yeah. With big toughness. Look at that. Fading away. Come on. Look at that. That's an ISO on the left side. A little fade away. It's the foul there. Jermaine Mara, a little spin, and then the fade over Carly Jones, who's 6'3", winning next to that one year at Washington. I, I think he's going to have a comeback year. Fields from three. The X Factor. Fields got to be, he should have been maybe in denial, but that may not be the game plan. Here's Barnes again. He's been quiet since the very beginning of the game. Offensive board. Jones missed. Holland once more, swatted by Barnes, but he stayed with it. That's where Radford can really beat up Hampton on the offensive glass. Light Sala, they got to utilize it on the miss. Hextall fades away on Tanner. Hextall with his first bucket since coming back from a foot injury. Polite has not really made his mark yet. Fields. Hextall does bring a difference to this team. Big difference. Look at that. That's a strong take for two. Veteran assistant Ron Jersa. Guys that can teach and develop. Marrow's got some space now. You just can't give him even a little bit. Because he'll take everything. When he puts it on the deck, you got to get closer to him. And now 17 first half points if for he, Jermaine Marrow. Yeah, if he blows by you, nice. And nice polite. answer. Yeah, in rhythm, with space, out of the flow. It's in. Look at Marrow, two dribbles, cross, and pull. That's how you create space under six feet. And, and polite, nice and simple, nice. Marrow already with 17. Does he add to it? Three ball, got it! And just about the horn. 20 points. Wave off the bucket. Wave off the bucket as the Pirates almost pulled off something incredible. They are going to go to the tape to see if it went down. Captain lead if that counts. There's Marrow's three. Now watch this. Watch this save. And Hextall, did he get it off? Is it still in his hands? 
when it hits zeros. Yes. Yes, it's the clock, the light, and then the horn. That's how the officials will judge it. And they will make that assessment whenever it does happen. What a first half we have had here. Jermaine Merrill with the punctuation. And it is the reason we are tied at 41 after 20 minutes of play. Basket waved off. Radford 41, Hampton 41 inside the Hampton Convocation Center. Don't go anywhere, though. We've got plenty of highlights, stats, breaking down the first 20 minutes for you when you come back. than Jermaine Marrow, and he does it in a variety of ways from different spots. The mid-range, how about the crossover quick and then deep? And when you're defending Marrow, when you think you're close enough, think again, you're not. That was way outside. And that was what tied this game at 41 and gave him those 20 points. How about your X Factor, though? Travis Fields putting in work for Radford. Well, he shoots 45, 43% from three, but in the last five games, it's only been 20%. This is a great sign for Mike Jones. Dished into Barnes. He was rejected by a pair of Radford players, but cleans it up himself. He just stays with the play. 14 points now. Uh, he's been great, but the pass then run their offense when they don't have anything. Make him to play defense. Jones is stopping the lane, and the floater goes. How sweet was that? Navigating. Jones goes in strong and draws the contact. And Carly Jones has emerged as one of the best guards in the Big South. The shot fake. Gone quiet, now a five-point lead for the Highlanders. First in the conference. A long pitch on that ball screen. Nice look inside, smooth. Hampton just missed the layup. Ken Radford take advantage. Tanner for three. That came from Mike Jones on the bench. The Radford lead four. Five minutes into the second half. Fisher taking matters into his own hands now. A senior. Hampton trying to knock off the team in first place and give themselves a chance at a conference crown. But Fields is having none of it. To the foul line. They did make three NCAA tournaments in that run. Fade away, Marrow. Radford down three. Holland spinning around. Smoot holds his ground. Fields triggers. Pulls out. Great pass by Holland. I thought he was going to go up when Smoot left his push. When you've got four players that shoot 40 or percent or better from three, that's what happens. But Mitchell with the answer the other way. How about the flash cut right to the free throw line? Here more. And that's where Hampton wants it. The question is, could Radford match it? Fields is showing out. Double X factor. 21, he is one shy of his career high, and we still have about 12 minutes to go. See, this is what makes Radford so dangerous. They have different guys that can go off. Top shot by Fisher, what an answer. Fields, and even Hicks can have big nights. Fields has a new career high, give him 23, eclipsing his total at Maryland this season. He'll take it himself. Bodies off the defender to score. In this game over, though, a lot of threes. How about this jam? Oh, it was a quick slip, a great read. Well, this team is so experienced. Hextall got it from the wing. I mean, Merrill took the pen from Coach one time, and he was diagramming the play that Radford likes to run. 15 lead changes so far between Radford and Hampton. Merrill fakes. Oh, Barnes wasn't ready for it. Fields? Yes, sir. How about this game for Travis Fields coming into his hometown? Where does it have to go right here? Is Marrow the obvious answer? He's the obvious answer, but if he's not open, there's capable of oh, lazy pass. There's Polite. Look out! Third. Yeah, Fisher with a one-handed lazy pass. That Polite sniffed it out. 
Maybe he'll just retire and go to the plus. You wouldn't be happy with that, though. Radford trying to add to the six-point lead. Still on the ground. Polite picks it up. Tanner in the corner. What a rejection, Barnes. That will get some energy back inside the convocation center. Well, Paul, both of these teams got experience. Hampton, two and a half years per player on roster. Radford, over two. Look at Marrow going down and saving that from going out of bounds off of the Fisher pass. Timeout. He's throwing that possession right away. Well, that's the second time he's done that late in the game. He didn't have to make that pass. Radford, you want to run your sets? Great pass. What a look. Holland missed the bunny. And it's going back to Hampton. What a you do if you're Hicks, set him up perfectly. You got to put that behind you now and you think about defense. That, that's, that's the hardest thing to do in the game is think next play, whether you're Fisher or Holland. Fisher buries it. And a boy within three. And Fisher is one off of his season average after not scoring in the first half. A few turnovers. Said, you know what? I'm going to get a bucket for you, coach. There you go. I mean, this guy can light it up, 15 points. The younger brother, a two-time National Defensive Player of the Year, Javon Carter, and he's got three free throws, going to the line to try to tie this game up. They love to play in a, a flow. And right now, they have momentum on their side. Jones off the Holland screen. Fades away from 15. Get to the rim, watch this. Comes off, sees two, behind the back, quick pull up. Let's see what they run out of the time, but you're gonna have to put the ball in his hands, Marrow for sure. And Radford has held Marrow to just four points here in this second half, after 20 in the first. Fisher leans in and hits. Hampton's got the lead under a minute left. Fisher's got the rebound. There is about a four second game clock to shot clock difference here. Do you need to foul? You got a trap for sure. You absolutely got a trap for the first 15, 20 seconds that foul. And there comes the foul. But now the Highlanders send the best free throw shooter on the team to the line, who has absolutely dominated this second half. And focus after the turnovers. Very impressive. Mistakes. Yeah, he was fired up when he went to the huddle, but he kept his focus on his game and on the team. And right now, he may knock out number one in the Big South. Robin has become Batman in the second half of this one. Hicks is 42% from three. Tanner has already made three threes in this game, and we know Lee Jones knocks down big shots. Stay at top. 12 seconds. Fields fires. Air ball out of bounds. Did they call a foul? Yes, sir. They did. Eight seconds on the clock. Step back. Right foot pushes back. Yeah, right on his right arm. That's a mental mistake by Hampton. He's only a 64% shooter from the line. He's got to make three here to tie. And the first one's out. Radford, still two timeouts to go. Hampton out of them. Fields now one of two from the strike. And you make this one the worst you can be down. Boring, something three. unforeseen is one shot. Yeah, that's why I like the quick follow with less than 10 seconds. All right, well, Fields makes his second and third. And another timeout. This is Radford. One more to go. To Coach Joyner, you want to get the ball to Marrow or Fisher, obviously. Guys that you feel comfortable, confident about making the free throws. They do find Marrow, and Fields wraps him up. So right around half court. I mean, the absolute worst thing you could do is let him get into a shooting motion. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to let Radford get a three off here. Do this. You you do what you practice. All 
All right, still a one possession game. The lead is three for Hampton. Seven seconds left. It's soft pressure to make him pick it up. Two dribbles and I'm whacking him. Here comes Jones. Four to shoot. Hoists it. Banks it in. 1.8 seconds on the clock. Here's Merrow. A heave at the buzzer. Overtime in Hampton, Virginia. The Big South Conference Final from a year ago. And he did it off the glass. As Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. This to win the Big South. Go to the NCAA tournament last year. Carly Jones did it again tonight. Carly Jones, if you notice, he loves to go right to left to get into that pull-up three-point jump shot. Have to play even more minutes than he's used to. Oh, they'll play polite at the three. Picked off. Jones all the way himself. Jones has 21. Radford back out in front. Mitchell from the corner. Guys are just making big time shots tonight. Carly Jones scores points, hands out dimes, gets a few steals. Mitchell answers back with a corner. Jones taking it right at the best defensive player Hampton has, Kalen Fisher. Inside 10 to shoot for Fields. Step back three. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Off screen. Steps hard, steps back, and drains it. My goodness. It's a hard step back. I mean, that's creating space. Minutes to go in OT. He does. Such a simple yet effective move. Just trying to get Jones to go back to the left. He does not. He's stripped by Fisher. Hicked off all the way. Got it to go. Hit him within one. Watch him move his feet. Stayed in his stance. The active hands to get the steal. Hexall. Three ties it for Kalen Fisher and the Hampton Pirates trying to knock off the number one team in the Big South and give everyone else a chance in this conference. Fisher, 4-3! One for this shot. It's called money. Kalen Fisher, stone cold. SMU coming up after we're done. But I wouldn't bank on it because this game shows no signs of stopping. I want five more. Five more, Alex. You're going five more now. Take it all the way down, get it in the hands of Jones. I think so. I think the field starts with it, and he finds Jones. Coming off little staggers. This is Fields, almost lost it with 12 to shoot. Now it's Jones. There it is. Jones versus Marrow, the marquee matchup in this game. Five to go. Jones, step back three for the win. Yes, sir! He did it again, not once, but twice in one basketball game. Center. Carly Jones and Radford take down Hampton. 101 98. In my entire coaching career, media career, I don't remember a player hitting a game time three and a game winning three. Carly Jones, one on one, gets the separation. Nothing but the bottom of the net.